What's going on everybody? So this is the video I decided to do today that not I don't know if ever, anybody's ever done this type of video. Um, I wanted to do a first person uh, look at uh, flying the DJI Mavic Pro drone. Um, this particular video I'm just doing a lot of different maneuvers. This area that I'm flying I fly a lot at when I'm trying to figure out exactly you know um, like my uh, 60 frames per second, um, 4K 1080p, looking at different angles and stuff like that. I've done a lot of different videos here. The other reason is because it's so wide open. Literally, I'm standing right next to this uh, church here, and it's so it's surrounded by a bunch of cornfields. Uh, where I, you can see the iPhone right now. To the left of that, to the left of the screen right there, is a town where I live in. But basically, there's a bunch of cornfields. You, you can see them all right there. But this is going to be like a like tutorial type of video. Um, basically, you can see the town right there on my iPhone screen. Uh, so the thing is, the actual video I'm recording with my GoPro on my chest, and this is shot in 1080p. However, the uh, camera, the uh, camera that's on my GoPro, uh, which is reco uh, not recording right now, you'll see that just here in a second, that is recording in 4 4K. So I have 1080p and 4K both going. So um, I just wanted to show you basically exactly my, you know, uh, how I maneuver around and stuff like that, and uh, just uh, different stuff I want to talk about the transmitter, the drone, and stuff like that. I do two different passes that you'll see pop up on the right hand side, uh, upper right hand side of the screen here in just about a minute or so. Um, but I just uh, wanted to show you the quality of this drone. Now this drone has been out for a while. Uh, D basically DJI came out with this drone. Uh, I forget what year it was, but when I first heard about it, I was like, I have to get this drone. And uh, I, couldn't, I could not believe the quality of it. I mean, guys, it's very compact. Um, it's super easy to carry around. I'm about to make my first pass. There's the town right there. Uh, you can tell I'm not too far away. I am about... I, I, don't know how high I am. I, I'm right at about 400 feet. I think it's like, okay, I think I'm like 300 feet, uh, 390 feet or something like that. Um, I do have, just in case anybody is curious, I do have my uh, FAA uh, uh, hobby drone license, just in case you're wondering about that. I do have that. Card stickers. I have a sticker inside my drone, like where the battery pack goes, and I do have the certification card and all that stuff, so just set your ease of mind there a little bit so you'll soon see um, the video pop up on the upper right hand side of the screen you can tell the quality of the of the uh, drone the way it just records and all that stuff I mean it is absolutely amazing um, so basically um, I just I use this building this whole property right here for a lot of maneuvers um, just uh, here we go you can see it right there uh, you can just see the quality of this 4k footage I mean I was recording in 1080p before before I actually had it all set up officially and I thought it was good then now you can tell it's snowy here we are in the winter time it is be it is early January here in Illinois and you can just tell the quality of this of, of just the picture all together um, there's actually a truck pulling in right there that was actually my dad he uh, he uh, just came over to sh just to see me stuff like that um so basically um yeah it's just it's just so crisp i mean when i was recording in 1080p i thought that was awesome enough like i could not believe it and just for your info i was not aware that i was not recording in 1080p at the time well i knew it but i i i thought it was already set to 4k um to tell you the truth so i get all this footage in the first three times i fly it this is like my 10th time to fly it i haven't been able to fly it for a few weeks because it's been below uh zero weather and i really don't want to fly this thing unless it's above 32 degrees it is like 35 36 something like that so it was warm enough at this point but anyway um as i said before i actually i i was actually in my in my bedroom looking at all the settings and i realized that it was on automatic setting which was 1080p and the setting like the uh like you can do like landscape setting and um outside or inside or something like that um i did not realize the setting that um, it was all like automatic already, like it was not recording 4K. So I switched it to 4K, but this is the first time I've been able to fly it in 4K. You'll see another 
video pop here pop up here in just a second as I maneuver the other way across this building. Um, so basically, as you can see, I'm flying at about 156 feet, I think it is, something like that. Um, I, I think I'm reading the right one. You'll notice on the bottom of the iPhone, you'll see two big numbers, 249, 156, bouncing around right there. Um, that is basically how far away it is and um, the height or how many feet it is off the ground. Um, so basically, um, you can see I'm bouncing around here and there. The other cool thing about this iPhone, guys, or the, uh, so this is the, let me, let me pull up the actual, uh, let me pull up the actual thing. So this is the DJI Go 4.0 uh, app. This is their latest one. You can see the video popping up now, just how crisp it is. And I cannot believe how 4K just makes everything just stand out so nicely. Um, it's just so smooth and so crisp. I do have this recording in uh, 30 frames per second, but when I downloaded it, I think it's at 60, I think, because the majority of the video is recording at uh, is recording at um, 60 frames per second. So everything is basically um, the 1080p except for the qual except for the video itself. You'll see that it's recording in 4K footage. Uh, so I want to go over a few settings just real quick um, with the actual iPhone when you're actually flying. So basically, um, you'll notice on the iPhone itself uh, there is the map on the bottom left corner. You'll notice that there is a H with a uh, like a little like it's like a marker with an H that means home that is where you took off with the drone that's where the drone took off from you'll see a little warning there it's uh, it's getting a little bit windy high uh, high wind velocity just for me to be cautious some of that stuff pops up every so often uh, I'm gonna be taking a photo here in about it here in a few seconds just check out the quality of that when it pops up on the upper right hand side of the screen again but anyway as I'm talking about the map um, you'll see the uh, you'll you'll see the uh, home that's where it took off from the you'll see another red marker with like a green like dot in front of it that is where the drone is currently you also the map also shows where I am so like um, the blue dot in there uh, the blue dot in that map um, in like almost the center of it that's where I am currently so it will show where you took off where you're standing and where the drone is flying and I'm about to take a photo here in a second uh, it's coming here um, basically so, just check out the quality right there um, here it goes Okay, so I'm about to take. There we go. Look at that quality, guys. I know that was fast, but that was. I, I love that. So, I gotta sneeze here. <laughs> so, anyway, um, this app is really cool. So, basically, I wanna go over a few more things about the iPhone. About the iPhone app right here. So, you'll notice on the left side of the screen, above uh, the left side of the iPhone screen, um, I'm actually showing right, th right there. I was showing the. If you notice at the center of the screen, I'm about to land. The center of the screen, you'll notice a little white. It looks like a it looks like an aiming thing. That's where you're going down. So I'm aiming right to go down there. I'm about to end the video here. So the left side of the iPhone screen, guys, you'll see the center. You'll see the center arrow pointing down to an H. That means home. Push that it goes back to home. And it just there's so many cool things. And on the right side, guys, of the iPhone screen, you'll notice just obviously that button that you push to record, take photos. Uh, below that is where you do all your settings and stuff. I'm about to land here. Um, it says landing right here. It's so cool. You go down and about four feet off the ground, it stops and then it goes down very slowly. Um, first thing I do, guys, is I will turn off the uh, I will turn off the transmitter because I do not want to grab the drone and accidentally push the takeoff button because those blades were will hurt you. So I drop the uh, I drop the uh, a, a transmitter there and uh, you'll just see me go pick up the drone. It's right there. Um, then I turn off the drone itself and yeah, that's about it guys Don't forget to like this video subscribe down below comment down below if this video is helpful to you What else you want me to do with drone stuff and have a good day?